Joey Fisher, the uh, priority free agent, the guy that uh-huh. the Niners are paying the most. He was supposed to be a third round pick. He's he was a, he was a right tackle in college at Shepherd in Maryland. Right. He's they got him at right guard. He was looking really good in drills. I, I want to say that he looks lean. He looks fit. He looks athletic. About an hour in, he takes himself out of the practice and he looked really not out of shape. He looked dehydrated. dehydrated, and that's nothing to laugh at. I mean, a player died on that football on that practice field about twenty years ago. I believe his name is Thomas Heron. Um, yep. I could, I believe that's his name. It's and again, people have died in the stands at Levi Stadium. I know it's only seventy five degrees. It's very dry. There's no shade. It feels hotter than that when you're out there for an hour and you can get really dehydrated. And if you do, you, and you're three hundred pounds and you're running like that, you could die. So glad that he took himself out. It's just rookie mini camp, and I'm still encouraged. I, I think what he showed before that was a very very athletic right guard who is built a lot like Spencer Burford. Right. So, uh, I, again, I agree with you. Um, I didn't take offense to any of the yeah. not so good when you regarding Joey Fisher. It's the yeah. first thing that comes to mind. Um, it's the yeah. first day of camp, first day, and guys are revved up. You know, yep. they're ready to go. I, I would almost kind of challenge what he had to eat that day if he was right. hydrated. You know, yep. it sounds funny or it sounds, you know, a little hinky, but it is true. You know, um so we're going Sometimes, though, East Coast people don't know how dry it is out here. You know, it's like 75 oh in a dry heat. You don't know. It's yeah. tough. Yeah. And, and if you just look at his track, this is the conversation that we had. I mean, he got in the best. you got to understand what these guys are doing. These guys are basically, they've gone through the biggest job interview of their lives. Right. right. And yeah. the longest process of evaluation that they've ever had in their lives. So Joey has gotten in the best shape of his life. Yep. He's gone through a pro day, which is probably the biggest evaluation of his life. He went right. down to, he went down to, uh, I think it was the senior bowl. He had a broken hand, didn't yep. participate, then yep. comes back, finally gets healthy enough to start working his butt off because before he doesn't even know he's going to be a Niner, gets right. the call, and then he gets shipped out here. This is probably yep. the first time that Joey has put on a helmet and pads yep. and been in a competitive atmosphere with other pros around him. Yeah. In, in a couple of months. So, yeah. you know, tensions are high and so is anxiety and it happens. So I didn't look at that as an out of shape thing because number one, I saw right. him right. on videos. He looks good. He yeah, looks he does. good. All right. He really in does. Shape. <clears throat> and secondly, if you're out of shape as an offensive lineman, it's very apparent. You don't you don't make it an hour. You know, so uh yeah. um T B D but I, I didn't take I didn't take Umbridge to any of um, your comments on Joey. It's just the first day. And it was interesting. They had him at right guard sp- splitting reps with Jason Poe, who's six feet tall. So we talk about, you know, um, Fisher having 32-inch arms. Well, so does Jason Poe. So it seems like now on the Niners, they have two kind of projects at right guard. And right. frankly, like, Jason Poe's, I mean, Joey Fisher's four inches bigger. Like, uh, he's in a, he's in an interesting spot. He doesn't necessarily have to be ready week one. He's a bit of a practice squad project but i could see him actually making this team eventually just look watching him do the combo blocks in the run game he looks big strong fast um yeah. i just I, I i think he can do all the run blocking and at a high level for them i just wonder about the pass blocking with 32 inch arms well well yeah it's gonna be tough just off of what god gave him but yeah. uh what what is on the end of those 32 inch arms are some man hands he's yeah. got very strong hands yeah so Coach Forrester, I, I just I respect this coaching staff's expertise so much, and I don't think that Coach Forrester would see a player like that and not evaluate around that that deficiency. I just yep. don't see it. Um, he's too so good. He's too good. Yeah, as yeah. Coach Forrester, that is. So yeah, I I believe that they're banking on his hands, his base. Right, he does have short arms, but he's got a wide chest and a wide back to take on blocks yeah. um so i i did see him get a lot of work in that guard it is the first day and he looked really good at guard as far as his yeah. movement um his pad his level strength. um yes and his strength he was throwing his that strength. bag around so see, to me like that's the, that's the big difference between him and burford like burford has potential he's got athleticism he's really young he didn't look that strong to me last year which i guess yeah. you wouldn't expect it but he, this rookie joey fisher looks 
hella strong. So if Burford uh, never actually acquires that strength, they got a guy on the practice squad who has it right now. He just doesn't have the length of Burford. Right. And, and I mean, yeah. well, one thing that I will say is about Spencer is I feel like Spencer is going to have to really make his stamp at right guard during yeah. camp this year. Yeah. He's really yeah. going to have to do that because I don't, because there's so many candidates at right tackle and the left side is practically solidified. Yeah. I don't necessarily see a, a route for him outside of right guard. Um, yeah. So I'm very interested to see how Spencer comes into camp this year. I did see um, an interview of him. He looks bigger. He looks like he good. put on weight. Um, good, that's so good. That's yeah, good. that's very good. That's um, good. But Spencer has played the games and I, I will say that we asked for the offensive line to get an uptick during the offseason. Um, and they did it. They just did it in their own way. So we got yeah. a lot more – we have a lot more viable options at the right side of our offensive line than we've ever had before. I feel that way. Well, they lost Brunskill, but they did bring in Feliciano, who – Yes. Is under the impression that he's going to start. I mean, yeah, he's been a start. starter. Like, yeah, yeah. He he didn't sign here to not play. Although the Niners clearly have their own ideas, he'll have to earn exactly. that. But he's coming in here confident. Uh, Joey Fisher is n clearly nipping at their heels. If he can uh, get a little Gatorade, man, Gatorade. Yeah, water bananas. sucks. Bananas. Bananas. Salt there you go. Your food. There you go. Rod Simmons says, oh, if Trey starts off 8-0, Grant, predict the narrative. Coach, if there's enough film on Brock to stop his mobility, is the arm talent good enough? First question, if Trey starts off 8-0, predict the narrative. Oh, there'll be a million narratives. Uh, you know what I, I mean? Honestly, if Trey, starts, if Trey starts off 8-0, then I feel like the, the, what will be revealed is basically the fan base because there's no way in hell that, that he would not be the starter. Yeah. Eight and oh, if he starts off 8-0, you'd think this team's going to win the Super Bowl. If he, starts off, if he starts 8-0, then the plan work. Brock is the backup. Sam will start trading. We'll start taking in flyers for you. I mean, if, I he, mean, if he goes eight and zero, who that do means we they have? beat. Who's, who's the, that means they who's, beat the Cowboys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Week five. That means they beat a lot of good teams. I'm looking at their schedule. I'm trying to find it. But yeah, that would be a big deal if they start. And then, uh, is there enough film on Brock to stop his mobility if the arm talent isn't good enough? Um, yes. Yeah, pretty much. I, I do like the way he uh, scrambles around the red zone, though. Um, but I just feel like, yeah, he's got the back. He's got a backup quarterback skill set, which is why the Niners didn't start him. They're like, why would we expect the last pick in the draft to be this good? It's never happened in the history of the NFL. So, yeah. and I mean, yeah, it's great that it did, but also I think they have to have a little bit of healthy skepticism. Like maybe this is Cinderella here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and then if Trey go for Trey to go eight and zero, oh, um, then we're we're going to get a real good display of. Um, the gap, the athleticism Agreed. gap, everything. We're good. Saul <laughs> Goodman says, you guys got me stoked for Will Coast. What's your at? Oh, for Twitter? Uh, tough Up Front 77. 